Yo, what up? This is P Diggy 22. I'm playing some Metal Gear Phantom Pain. Here's a few uh, clutch plays that I had uh, when I was playing Metal Gear. It's too bad that uh, they decided to release this game at a bad time when much bigger titles were coming out. I actually really enjoyed the multiplayer. At first, I hated it because of the controls, but I mean, I don't understand why developers on console decide to reinvent the wheels when it comes to shooter controls. I mean, just make them standard L1, R1, you know, aim and shoot or whatever, L2, R2, aim and shoot, and then squares to reload, R3 in a melee. You know, the typical stuff that you would see in a shooter. I mean, this game, Uncharted, they both try to change the uh, button layouts dramatically. I mean, why would I want reload on Triangle in Uncharted? Why would I want... I don't know, I don't even remember what it is in Phantom Pain, but they're, they're, the buttons are so weird and funky. Like, you have to hit m multiple buttons just to aim your gun and shoot. I don't know. That's the one thing I think that turns people off with games like that. Uncharted and uh, Phantom Pain is the shooter controls. They they need standard controls. Battlefield, Call of Duty, probably the most most two most played on console. They both go by the same exact controller layout, and it gives you a bunch of options if you want to flip triggers and all that good stuff. I think that's what you really need if you want to have a you know a good shooter on consoles. You need those you know standard easy pick up play controls. I mean some niche games it will work and people will love it. I mean like SOCOM Confrontation. I mean but they don't have the Confrontation didn't have the clunky movements of Phantom Pain and Uncharted. I think that's also what hold, holds them back. They have that, that weird fucking camera turn and like the wide stepping of characters. It's almost like they walk in circles. Kind of a, like a uh, like, they have two right feet or two left feet. That's what it feels like when you play Uncharted and Phantom Pain. That's kind of one of the two things I don't like about them. But, uh, the game modes in Phantom Pain, I think, probably the best game modes on any shooter this year. I mean, Cloak and Dagger is by far the, the best game mode I've played since, like, Confrontation, Breach, or Extract, or Escort. That's probably like my top four game modes. Ex Extract, Escort, Breach, and uh, Cloak and Dagger. So probably my four favorite of all time. I guess you could throw Demolition in there as well. Uh, i trying to think of other game modes I really liked. Yeah, that's... Yeah, those five. If you put those five game modes in any game, you got your yourself a good game. As long as the... If the gameplay is decent, you put those modes in, you got a good game right there. Unfortunately, the game's pretty much dead. There's like no lobbies now that uh, Star Wars has come out and Black Ops has come out. Um, anyways, um, I think I'm going to post a 100 kill video for this next. Is Phantom Pain worth it? Yeah, it's probably worth it used. I'm not sure if you could how hard or easy it is to find a room. Custom rooms were pretty awesome, but now the the player base is kind of dwindling down. Uh, I'm not sure if it'd be worth it if you if you want the multiplayer. I honestly didn't even finish the single player. It was just too many fucking cutscenes and a lot of watching. I don't want to watch a movie when I play a game. I want to play a game when I'm playing a game. It took like an hour just to get into actual gameplay from the start of single player. That's a little that's excessive to me. Anyways, I'm out. Peace.
Disc A dropped. Retrieve an enemy data disk.
Use caution. Use caution. Thank <laughs> you. 